Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about six lug and disc brake conversion for the Volvo TDB portal axles. The kit I'm using is produced by Malin Advanced Mechanics. And this is how it looks like when the six lug conversion and disc brake conversion has been fitted to the portal housings. The problem with the TDB axles is that they have a really oddball wheel bolt pattern so it's impossible to find aftermarket rims. So what do you do? You're actually removing this part from your axles. You send it to Friedrich Malin or Malin Advanced Mechanics and they machine this down because it's like this big in diameter on the, on the portal axles. They machine it down and drill and tap a new wheel pattern. This is a six times five and a half. It's a really common wheel pattern. Uh, so you have a lot of options for aftermarket rims to choose from. So that's, that's the first thing. So yeah, you send in your part and you return it machined and complete. Then you have the discs. This is a 317 millimeter in diameter or 12 and a half inch in size. Quite big disc. And this is a spacer. So why don't you just put the router or the disc straight on here? Well, you see this line here, this edge? That centers on this edge here. And then the disc itself centers on this edge here. And then the wheel centers on this edge here. That means that the studs does not center the whole assembly. So they take a lot less stress with this spacer. It's quite clever. That's quite nice. So you put this one on and then the router and then the rim, the wheel. The caliper is a Toyota Land Cruiser four piston. Very nice. A lot of braking power in that one. You also get the brake piston uh, bracket. So this bolts on to the portal axle and with the size or the width of this one in combination with the spacer you will be able to fit this big caliper without touching um, the portal housings, neither the front, neither the rear. So this is the kit and you also get a bag like this with all the bolts needed, the hardware, uh, wheel uh, studs and wheel uh, bolts. So this is all included. Very nice. Well, let's see how I assemble it.
the bolts by hand like this. And then you take a 516. Um, and since it's quite short of space here, I have uh, cut this off. Maybe, I don't know, almost an inch, nah, half an inch to be able to get into the bolts here. Yeah. Tighten these three bolts and take it from there. Take the disc like that. And the calipers are right and left because you have the bleed nipple here. It should always be on top so the air gets to the highest position. That makes life easier when you bleeding brakes. So put this one on here. That. And as you can see, you might need to be to grind off a little bit on the caliper here. No, actually, this one is okay. Yeah, on this one I had to grind off some of uh, the material on the caliper because I'm gonna show you. It was actually hitting. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, it was actually hitting the edge here. But I have seen that you can see that this part of the hub has been machined flat. You can see here where I have the finger has been machined. And have a look at this one. This one is only machined where the nuts are and not all the way around. So they might differ. And actually the right and the left hub differed on mine. So on this side, I had to grind off a little bit of the material on the caliper to get the hole on the caliper to center on the hole on the caliper bracket. No problem at all, just to grind off a little bit. On this one, it's, it's a bolt on. Here it is, fully assembled. This is the left side knuckle. So here's the axle tube and everything goes on to that direction. One thing that I forgot to mention is on the brake caliper bracket, there's a small edge because this bracket is actually, it's not um, mirrored in, in its design. So you can put it on incorrectly. So you can see here, there's a small edge there. That edge should be pointing down to the ground. So keep that in mind. And also, I'm gonna explain to you why I, this, why I destroyed the spacer. Well, the rims that I found has a really small center, center hole. It's actually smaller than the hole, uh, than the spacer edge was. So I had no choice. I had to grind this edge off to be able to fit my, my, my wheel setup. What I will uh, most likely do is uh, I will machine a piece that fits into this hole here and then goes up and fits to, to my rim. So it centers anyway, but I don't have the nice machinery at home. I own, only had the angle grinder, so it's not beauty, but it's gonna fit and it's gonna sit tight anyway. But that's, that's why I did this. The rim is gonna cover it all anyway. Like it does, in, you can see it here on the rear axle, it's fitted. Is there? Brake disc converted and six lug. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, there it was. The episode about the disc brake and six lug conversion of the Volvo TDB portal axles. 
If you're interested in these axles, I have some more tech videos. I put the links in the description below. Um, please like and subscribe and take care. See you next time. Bye.